Happy holidays! I hope Santa stuck lots of pretty things made out of chocolates and diamonds in your stocking. <laughs> I didn't even get a lump of coal. Um, Santa, Santa doesn't like me. He didn't bring me anything. Um, there's a second part, a uh, second video after this one that goes into uh, the specific topic that I've spent a lot of uh, time and thinking about a lot because it's so profound and important and it talks about the Hertzian spectrum and uh, the Tesla spectrum. So I would behoove you to suggest uh, watching the second video after this one. But I'm going to give you some quotes. I'm going to read some off some things that Tesla said. But there's also not another video, this first video and the second video, not another video like this on YouTube. And I don't know of a single article out there that actually goes into this nor quotes Tesla. There might be an article out there, but I'm, I've never seen one. I spent an enormous amount of time looking up all the quotes of Nikola Tesla, which are so very important on uh, the Hertz, uh, the Hertzian system. And also, too, this is uh, where we get into all the issues of everybody's asking about Wardenclyffe Tower. Would it have worked? Wouldn't it have worked? What about? And they all think it's electrical power, wireless, wireless electrical power transmission, but it was not. That was not the, the premise of Wardenclyffe Tower. It was not electrical. It was not. Um, people say, well, Wardenclyffe Tower never would have worked because we all know the fall offs of power or wireless transmission um, over short distances. And they're correct, but they're talking about a Hertzian system of electricity. And Wardenclyffe was not electrical. People don't know what electricity is. Sure they do. No, they don't. The guy that perfected most of Nikola Tesla's patents, Charles Proteus Steinmetz, on something page like 17 or something, of his book, Electrical Discharges, Waves, and Impulses, published in 1917, like 103 years ago, circa the time, you know, towards the end of Nikola Tesla's life. Even he said, said all the electrical theorists of his time, he completely convoluted electricity and what it actually was. Uh, in simplicity, of course, electricity is a hybrid of dielectricity and magnetism, or phi times psi equals Q and Planck of electrification. Electricity is not a singular entity, and its propagation nature is that of, just like light, a light is also to a Hertzian system. Yes, light is, so is our electrical grid. Here in America, we got 60 cycles per second. It depends on what country you're in. But we're all operating off this uh, Hertzian system. But Nikola Tesla's system was not Hertzian. And I'm going to give you some quotes here from Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla, over and over and over again, and I spent an enormous amount of time, trust me, and you better because I'm telling the truth, uh, studying what Nikola Tesla had to say about the Hertzian system and the Hertzian uh, spectrum. Because light itself is Hertzian. Today we call it electromagnetic radiation or electromagnetic spectrum. Back in the day, they called it the Hertzian system. Okay? So Nikola Tesla wasn't talking about the electromagnetic spectrum. No, he referred it to it as the Hertzian system. So anyway, and of course, we have the discovery of radio, these invisible light rays, which of course electromagnetic radiation in the form of radio is light. It's invisible light. All, I mean, gamma radiation is light. Radio is light. It's all Hertzian spectrum um, coaxial circuit uh, energy type modality, a coaxial circuit type. But Tesla derived, I'm going to give you some of the things that Tesla called the Hertzian system. Words, crude, primitive, base, merely electromagnetic. These are Nikola Tesla's own words. I'm going to like to read you for some passages. I'm going to skim over some of it so I'm not so verbose. Um, as a result, this is Nikola Tesla speaking, as a result, the, some illusory ideas have been formed at various phenomena erroneously interpreted. The so-called Hertz waves are still considered a reality, proving that light is electrical in its nature and also, too, the ether capable of transmitting transfer vibrations, frequencies, love. This view, however, has become untenable since I showed that the universal medium is a gaseous body, longitudinal pulses. Uh, propagated involving alternating compressions and expansions. This is what we call L waves or longitudinal waves, which are not waves at all. Longitudinal pulses can be propagated involving alternating compressions. Uh, thus, a wireless transmitter does not emit Hertzian waves, which are a myth, but sound waves in the ether behaving in every 
respect like those in the air, except that owing to the great elastic force and extremely small density of the medium, uh, their speed is that of uh, light, which is not a speed, a rate of induction anyway. Anyway, this is one passage where Nikola Tesla is stating explicitly that his wireless power transmission is not Hertzian. It's not electrical. Anything that is electrical is Hertzian, okay? All these fools, there's thousands of videos on YouTube saying, hey, Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower never, never would have worked because electrical power transmission has serious fall-off degradation. There are PhD physicists, okay? I've seen them that have been, uh, they're like PBS broadcasts about Nikola Tesla. And you go, well, I'm a PhD physicist, blah, 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 blah. And uh, if Wardenclyffe Tower had been completed, it never would have worked. Tesla was crazy because electrical power drop-off is, uh, you can't do it wirelessly. It just, fall, it, uh, you could transmit enormous amounts of power, but it, like, if it's electrical, it falls off. In other words, it's insanely lossy. In other words, you're like losing 80% of your signal depending on uh, the distance. Of so, <laughs> so they're half right. But they don't understand that Nikola Tesla's uh, power system was not Hertzian. Please, I beg you two to watch the second video after this one. It's very important in tying it all together. Here's Nikola Tesla again. Okay, this is direct words in it. As to the transmission of power through space, that is a product which I considered absolutely certain of success long since. Years ago, I was a position to transmit wireless power to any distance without limit, other than that imposed by physical dimensions of the globe and my system. It makes no difference what the distance is. The F, uh, but we're talking about uh, compression power transmission here or a Tesla spectrum, but you should watch the second video about that. The efficiency of the transmission can be as high as 96 or 97 percent, and there are practically no losses except such that are inevitable in the running of the machinery. Um, when there is no receiver, this is important, listen, when there is no receiver, there is no energy consumption anywhere. When the receiver is turned on or put in place, it draws power. This is the exact opposite of the inferior Hertzian wave system. In that case, you have a plant of a thousand horsepower. It is radiating all the time. That's how current electrical systems work. Radiating all the time. Um, whether the energy is received or not. But in my system, no power is lost. When there are no receivers, the plant consumes only a few horsepower necessary to maintain um, the energy vibration. It runs idle as uh, the Edison plant when the lamps and the motors are shut, just as, uh, if the, uh, like, as like unto the Edison plant. I have made advancements uh, along this uh, line in latter years which will contribute to the practical features of the system. Recently I obtained a patent on a transmitter which uh, is practical to transfer a limited amount of energy at any distance. Let's uh, go on here. Um, before I get on another uh, passage or two from Nikola Tesla attacking a Hertzian system. Nikola Tesla, like I said again, never advocated for wireless electrical or electromagnetic spectrum or Hertzian spectrum power. He called, like I said, Hertzian crude, primitive base. All of these idiots that said that this transmission was impossible, they are only thinking in terms of electricity. They're, they're clueless. Um, due to the loss of wires, thinking in terms of electricity, it hurts the electromagnetic spectrum, you know, like it's found in all current AC electrical systems. In the back of my house, in the back of your house, you know, those are Hertzian electrical alternating uh, current uh, power grids. Hertzian, not Tesla's. Um, Tesla is uh, referring to uh, ether stress dielectrics through compression. It's not a transverse or coaxial circuit which is what light is and what uh, radio and gamma radiation is. Um, but there are two different total spectrums, and I talk about this in the second video, which I would beg you to watch, actually. Um, it'll make things a whole lot clearer when you understand this about Tesla. And this is something that nobody freaking gets about Tesla. Essentially nobody, well, 99.9%. .9%. Even then, they never see it clearly. Um, here we are from Nikola Tesla again. There is a vast difference between primitive, primitive Hertzian signaling, uh, practical to only but a few miles, and the great art of wireless transmission of energy, meaning mine, Tesla, which enables an expert to transmit to any distance not only signals but power in unlimited amounts, and in which the experiments across the Atlantic are a crude application thereof. 
the plants are quite uh, inefficient, unsuitable for finer work, talking about the Hertzian one, and totally doomed to an effect less than 1% of that of which I obtained in my test of 1899. Um, yeah, the deficiencies, here it is again, the deficiencies of the Hertzian telegraphy system have created in, the, created in the public mind. We still have only that system in our head. Light, current power generation, is Hertzian. That's the only thing human beings' minds are working in, is Hertzian power and radio uh, transmissions. Tesla's was not Hertzian. Um, his was... Uh, um, I, I won't want to say that without giving away the second video, so please watch the second video. The deficiencies of the Hertzian telegraphy system created in the mind of the public the impressions that exclusive or private messages without the use of artificial channels are impractical. Um, possibilities of the system of signaling by Hertzian and electromagnetic waves and my forecasts have been fully confirmed. It lends itself a little to tuning, still less to higher uh, artifices of individualization and transmission considerable distances is wholly out of the question. Um, there's also another thing where someone uh, says that, oh, he tells somebody uh, about uh, his Mr. Stone on his uh, wireless uh, power transmission. Uh, system not power is lost. He said, I made advances along the, uh, this line in later years which will contribute to the practical features of his system. And he says, I have a very interesting experience with Mr. Stone, whom I considered, if not uh, albeit, uh, certainly one of the most ablest of living experts. I said to Mr. Stone, did you see my patent? Meaning his patent on um, his, uh, his non-Hertzian uh, system. And Stone said, yes, I saw it, but I thought you were crazy. Uh, when I explained it uh, fully to Mr. Stone, he said, now I see. Now I see why. That is great. And he understood how the energy is transmitted. Everybody today is exactly the same thing as Mr. Stone here in the 1917s. We are all utterly brainwashed by uh, electrical, let me repeat that word again, electrical energy grids, which are cycles. The 60 cycle system here in America, AC current. Whatever you got, I forget what it was when I lived in Russia or Europe or whatnot. And light, of course, is Hertzian, or a transverse electrical magnetic, we say electromagnetic spectrum, we say Hertzian spectrum. But I beg you to watch the second video when I clarify things very, very succinctly. We are all brainwashed by that because that's all we know. That's all we eat, sleep, and breathe is the Hertzian system of cycles. And uh, electrical wireless power transmission is insanely inefficient. That's why everybody was attacked. Well, Tesla was a smart guy, but his system never would have worked because you can't transmit electricity wirelessly like that of any magnitude or power. It's extremely inefficient. Well, his system was not electrical. <laughs> uh, hello, McFly. Hello, McFly. Um, this is not the caffeine talking. I looked up, I went through so many dozens of sources, peeling my brain, looking for every reference to where, and there's so many, there's a lot I didn't mention here, where Tesla affects the Hertzian system. He's basically telling everybody today, hey, my power transmission is not Hertzian. Yet everybody today still thinks, oh, what, Tesla's, Tesla's electrical power wireless transmission system ever... His system was not electrical. What do you mean not electrical? Because we all think power is electricity only. And it's not. Electricity is a Hertzian system. Okay? Cycles per second. Tesla's system is not cycles per second, but volts per second. This is how you get around the loss. Any transverse medium is extremely lossy. Yeah. Unless it's in a vacuum and then we're talking about light. I wasn't talking about a Hertzian system with a transverse component. Yeah. I hope I clarified that. I hope uh, you like this video. And uh, check my uh, description below. And uh, I hope you all have a happy New Year's. And please check out the second video where I bring everything to f full clarity in a very succinct manner. Thank you. Goodbye. Happy Holidays!